Ministry of Health, I want to say a big welcome to you and your entourage. I want to also recognize my vice, Barista Christina Tamna Beratari. I want to also recognize the chiefs. I want to recognize the MOH. Thank you so much for organizing this program. As a way of opening remarks, I want to say that it is a privilege to be in your midst. We are aware that health is wealth. Anybody who is conscious of health is ready to make money. I want to ask all the people of Ugubolo to take advantage of this program. It is, it is the first, first round maternal newborn and child health week. I don't know whether it's going to last a week, but this is the flag of. Please, everybody should take advantage of this program. Anything that they are going to offer to you, use them carefully and use them well. It is for your health. If you follow the rules, you will not be sick and you will be wealthy. So on that note, I want to say that this program is very much welcome. We appreciate it and thank the Minister of Health for doing the flag off in our local government. It's a privilege. Thank you so much. On behalf of the River State Primary Health Care Management Board, we want to welcome you all to this auspicious occasion of maternal and child newborn health. We know the importance of the mother, we know the importance of the newborn, and of course the importance of the child generally. We know that women are very important to our society and there are lots of challenges that the mother faces, especially during pregnancy, during childbirth, and after childbirth. And when the mother delivers the baby, the baby also faces some challenges. So this program that, has, um, that was commenced on the 10th of this month, about four days ago, it's been on, affords us the opportunity of going to seek for health care at the very appropriate place. And of course, when you go there, you, you, you meet those that are well trained to take care of all the challenges that can confront the pregnant woman, the mother, and of course, the babies. And we hope that the people of Ogubolo, the mothers of Ogubolo, the children of Ogubolo, will seize this opportunity to ensure that all the morbidities, all the diseases that can affect a woman and all the morbidities that can affect a child are cured. When you, when you go to our health centers, you will ensure that these diseases are cured. And when the diseases are cured, we will not be hearing that this mother died or that this child died. So these are all the interventions that have been made to prevent death. So on behalf of the board, we want to welcome you all and, and appeal that you continue to utilize these facilities. Thank you very much. Please permit me to stand on existing protocols. The members of the health community, the um, inhabitants of Ogubolo, it's a pleasure to um, present the Saving One Million Lives um, Goodwill message. Very warm greetings from my national coordinator, who is the national program manager, um, Dr. Ibrahim Kana, on this um, flag of, well, maybe a little bit of a flag down, because we've been on throughout the week, sir. Now, Saving One Million Lives Program for Results is an initiative of the Federal Ministry of Health, actually the Federal Government of Nigeria, uh, funds were provided by the World Bank to states through a grant, but the fund is a loan to um, the federal, federal government. Now, the entire goal of saving one million lives is to ensure that very important people who are here sitting 
the children, especially those who are under five, and um, pregnant women and women of reproductive age, that they have access to um, health services, activities, and programs that can prevent diseases in our women and children and prevent death ultimately. Now we had set out this week providing key commodities, um, providing immunization services, providing um, logistics for the distribution of vitamin A, testing of mothers who are pregnant, and also providing family planning services. These are among our, uh, these are few of our services that are provided. And key to the SOML is the Maternal Newborn and Child Health Week, which we have been sponsoring in the last two years. And every year we make more progress, we improve on our outcomes. Now the program is such that if you improve on the indicators that are set out for the state, you earn more money. So it is important that our mothers and children hear this. I can see the chairman smiling. Yes, we earn more money as we give more of our children vitamin A, as we immunize our children, River State earns more money, and so Ogubolo earns more money. And that money is plowed back into the health sector so that our children can continue to enjoy the health that they deserve. We want to thank the River State Government for a very lovely environment, the enabling resources to carry out SOML P4R activities here in the state, and also to you, sir, for giving us a very, very warm reception, even though we are starting very late. You and your entourage, your chiefs, have been here all morning waiting. We thank you for this. The local government chairman of Ogubolo and all other protocols to Leo Zah. We as a community and in this LGA, we want to thank the primary health care board for what they are doing in this LGA, especially in this community of group. And we also want to say that it will be better to allow this program to continue if you have the opportunity. So, I want to thank you for what you are doing. Uh, all other members of the staff, on behalf of the WHO OIC, it's Dr. Peter Lasuba, and the national coordinator, Dr. Fabio Secundare, I bring you greetings. Uh, we rejoice with River State for the implementation of the first round of this MNCH that is ending today. And then I have been asked to assure you of our continued technical support to the state in everything that concerns primary health care. I want to urge all those that are target age groups, the mothers, the children, to avail themselves of this opportunity to go to the health facilities that have been told about to access the commodities that have been made available. I also want to use this platform to tell our mothers the importance of immunization, especially the hepatitis B. When a child is born, within two weeks, the child is supposed to get vaccinated for hepatitis B, BCG, and oral polio vaccine. It is very, very important. What we have observed in the past is that some 
cultures don't allow their women to go out after they give birth until one month. And that is why we have not been doing very well in our LQS. The last time we had it, we only had about four LGA that was green. And I think that if we can avail ourselves of this opportunity to get our children vaccinated immediately they are they put to bed, we will do very well in the assessment that will be coming up in the month of July. Once again, I want to congratulate River State for this wonderful, successful MNCA. This is just the forum. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yamansa. Uh, we are talking about maternal, newborn, and child health. That is a very long one. What do we they talk about here? Now, mama, newborn begin as small children. And even our youth and our men, that is where we come here. I will not come to tell you, say, a new thing. Now, something where we don't start since on the 10th, which is on Monday, up till now. And when we look through our record, we find out that Ogubolo is doing excellently well. Can you put your hands together for yourself? That is why we are here, to say thank you so, so much. Our women came out in their numbers to assess all the interventions. That is to say our women, our men, our children come out well, well. All take all this, uh, this where we bring on, where we carry out this week. And that one starts from vitamin A. That one where we they give children from six months, then take her. We equally give the one children. Now one of the interventions where we carry, they carry out this week. Then another thing we talked about is breastfeeding. We say our children must be breastfed very well, exclusively for six months. But what we are seeing today is that when after delivery, you begin to give the child water. You drop the child and you begin to go to look for something. Just to mess and meet. It is good. But what we are saying is that breastfeed your child exclusively for six months. So that that child will grow very well. The child will grow well, come become in brain will develop very well because breastfeeding gets everything where the child needs to build in body. All in soldier will be very strong. Ask your neighbor. You know your HIV status. You know your HIV status. You know whether you get HIV or not. HIV is not the key again. Our youth, HIV is not the key. If you go on time, go test your blood. Know your, whether you dare free or you get that child. If you dare free, they will teach you what you will do to maintain your body. If you get, they will equally tell you what to do. Bless you on treatment, free. And they tell us, say, if 95% of people go test their body, no, come place them on treatment, Say that number go just day free. They no go even see them as people will get HIV again. At times you will see people they take people for tuberculosis. All these things they happen. They take place for our health center. I don't know why we go get all these good things where government don't bring, and we no go agree go begin they assess them. They go say I want take her. I'm not the only that one. How about family planning? Today we see say, everywhere children food, some there for street, some there for park, some stuff. You see some mothers, they drag children. People like say, they pick it, the right application. Say, make you born up. I be mean, the right application for you. Maybe you go bring them come. Eh? So if you don't want that kind of stress, we get something where we package. What did they call commodities for family planning? Where you go to enjoy yourself, judge you, you don't go bring picking cup. 
Call the dragon like that. And I hear what now they talk. All those things, they for her sake. Eh? Demand them. You go check your BP to know whether your blood pressure they go up or they come down. Because blood pressure they kill. If they kill a silent killer. All this struggle, what with the struggle? You get to go clinic, say check my BP for me. Then go check, tell you, say today, no go out, rest. Give you drop. This one every day, don't go out. You don't come by, say your chest, they do. Ba, 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 ba. You wonder, who won't want to leave those children for? Huh? So now what they will carry come? Come talk, say, oh, Google, now what now do you all we like? What the government say, make we come here. Don't give on a deep good information. And say, after today, when we carry on a record for her facility, look, we go say number one. By the time you hear, the number will take them like this. The woman, number of children one at the woman are like this. Pregnant women, people where they go health center, go deliver now like this. People where nurses and nurse, doctors they check for health center now like this. We go come clap for now. Make a clap for now, sir. I hope sir go go. I know sir go do it. Uh -huh. Now all this message we carry come. So make we tell on. We know clap. What is the vex your guy? This time go sack them. And when we go follow, sack them. And I want to make them sack on her. I want to make them sack on her. From today, begin the call work. Give them all the services. What will they talk about? And when they hear them, they... see what thing will they take test? When we go carry this step, no blood, no step, no take them. Measure your dress to soup. You go take them, tie for hand, yes. Yeah. This thing, as you see, now magic. When you tire, then go no begin where no chop well. Don't give them the correct food where the begin go take grow well. And I they hear so? Uh -huh. So, madam, where get belly? You don't take your teeth. You suppose go clinic eight times before you go born. Then when you born, then go come check the begin. Come start to give the begin waiting for you. So all these interventions, you go give you head talk on how you gonna wash your hands. They go give you head talk, tell you how you go they keep your body. They go give you head talk, personal hygiene. How you gonna maintain your surrounding environmental hygiene? All these things, know where we go learn. If you know they go health center, now make me they tell you. Now very short message I get. Women, children, traditional rulers. We have been here since morning. Let me take a very brief one. We have been talking about maternal, newborn child health week. Since we came here. I'm not giving a vote of thanks, but I want to thank the people of Ogubolo local government. The way you turned out in mass to embrace this program. Chairman, thank you very much. The state, under the leadership of our amiable governor, His Excellency, Yesum, is the one we can, C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S, P-O-S, Africa, through the Primary Health Care Board, has brought these interventions to our health care facilities and government hospitals. We didn't come to play. Let me say it like that. Let me break it. We are not here for play. 
we have we started since Monday, and I know the commodity, the kind of commodities we send to the healthcare centers. Now I've been listening very attentively. The LLIN was not mentioned. That is the long-lasting insecticide mosquito net. Please, I want to tell us mothers, you must have been given those things. The government has provided your nets. I want to plead with you that you don't keep them in your houses. You put them into use. You use them in your houses. You make your children sleep under the nets. They are not for decoration. Mothers, are you hearing me? Were you giving any? Were you giving nets? Yes. Yes. Mothers, were you giving mosquito nets? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to specifically on behalf of the um, River State Primary Health Care Management Board thank all of you for finding time to come and raise this occasion. I, I believe that um, uh, Ukubolo people know that um, we appreciate what they have done. From all they have said here, we heard that um, they've been quite optimal in the attendance to our health programs and they have been visiting our health facilities. We want to say a very big thank you for that. And then the chairman of the local government, I hear that you've been supporting everything they have to do with health, equally your chiefs. We want to say thank you very much. And um, we want to thank God specially for giving us this clement weather. We all know that this is raining season and we have not seen a drop of rain. It means that God is with the Ogubolo local government area. I want to equally thank the health workers who, despite all odds, they've been able to do their job meritoriously because we monitor them from Primary Health Care Management Board, equally from the Ministry of Health. And we know that these people go to work because we have a surveillance team that check them out. So if you actually um, want to use these facilities, go there. And we probably have numbers you can call if they are not in the health facilities. We employ all of you to do the best so that the governor who has put all these things in place, you know, that is the only way we can say thank you, our dear governor. So on behalf of everybody here present, the board, the ministry, we want to say special thank you and pray that God in his definite mercies will lead you safely to your various destinations in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, we bless your name for a day such as this. We thank you for the lives of the mothers, the children, the health workers, and all those in authority that have brought this program to stay. But I will say thank you because in Ogubolo there shall be no record of death in cause of childbirth. Mothers and children will be alive. Lord, we just thank you because you've not gone for any medical school yet. You're the greatest physician. We say thank you in all we do. May your name alone be highly exalted. Lord, I hand over every soul here, even as we join him back to our various destinations. We pray that the road will be an accident in Jesus' name.